What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix high spin spikes on a Windows 11 and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about we just need to go over here, search for registry editor over here and we need to go for yes. And right now the first and foremost step what we need to do is if you find something called HK local machine just go over here and navigate to software and over here we'll be able to find the microsoft and what we need to do is we need to expand this app and right now from on soft the microsoft we need to scroll down and navigate to windows nt over here if you scroll down you'll be able to find something called windows nt and if you find the windows nt over here you can see the windows nt so we have to scroll down a little bit and we have to expand this up and right now we have one thing called current version and we need to expand this and here in the current version we need to find multimedia well, that's what we have to try so we need to find the multimedia so keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, over here at the top we need to keep scrolling down and find the multimedia and right now we have one thing called system profile and we have to select this and right now over here if you check you can see we have three options and the first one which is network throttling index right click on this one and or you can double click on this one and right now the value is being set into a so that is why we are having the issue so what we need to do is make sure the base is being set into hexadecimal and right now we need to remove the f a over there and we have to set eight times f so type f f f which is three four five six seven eight you have to type this and once you give the f8 times the value here and make sure it is on the hexadecimal you have to go for ok and you have to double click and check over here and once it is successfully done we just need to close this and move to the next step next step is all about we just need to go over here search for the services and click on the services right now we need to scroll down and navigate to wlan o2 config so keep scrolling down and navigate to wlan o2 config so over here we need to scroll down and over here we'll be able to find wlan o2 config so right now we have w02 config or we have wlan o2 config as well so the first one find the wlan o2 config over here so what we need to do is we just need to select this one right click on this one and go for the properties make sure the startup type is automatic and also make sure the service status is running so if it is stopped we have you'll be having this particular button which is gray dot will be there so just click on this one and go for that and also the next one is all about we need to go for wvan auto config and apart from this we have one more called which is called wvan auto config which is here right click on this one and go for the properties and right now the startup type is being set into manual change this to automatic and go for apply and now the service status is stopped so go for start and what happens is the service status will be open and it is up and running and right now we need to go for ok and we need to close this next one is all about after this still if you're having the trouble just go over here search for the cmd and you have to run it as an administrator and go for yes and right now we need to type n-e-t-s-h put a space windsock over here and we need to type reset and you have to press enter now once it is done we have to go for the next one n-e-t-s-h and we have to go for i-n-t then go for i-p reset and press enter Next one we have to go for IP config and you have to put a space slash release over here and you have to press enter. Next one we have to go for IP config then put a space slash renew and you have to press enter. The next one that is IP config and what we need to do is once it is successfully done we need to go over here IP config put a space slash flush DNS and press enter. Once after everything is successfully done, just close this and we have to make sure one more step that is all about do a restart. Once the restart is done, you have to check. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here, search for the control panel and you have to click on this one. And right now, go for the network and internet, go to the network and sharing center. Go for right now, change adapter settings and right click on the Wi-Fi and go for the properties. And right now, go for the internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, go for the properties. Now from here, we have to set the use the following DNS server and address. So the first one, go for 1111. And if you don't find another one, that is 100 and you have to go for 1. Now go for OK. And after the, uh, this particular version has changed, still if you have the trouble, you can bring it back to the uh, to the back. It means if auto the value is being given over here, you can change from this one to this one and you can save it OK. And also make sure, you know, these possible steps is definitely going to help you guys out. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.